ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ರಸ್ಯಾಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೌ ತೋಯನಿಧಿ ವಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತರ್ಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಪಾತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರತೀಪಂ ಪರಿಹೃತ್ಯ ತಸ್ಯ ಕಾಮ ಪುರಶುಕ್ರಮಿವ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಪ್ರಾಂತು ಸಂಸಕ್ತ ನಮೇರು ಶಾಖಂ ಧ್ಯಾನಾಸ್ಪದ ಭೂತಪತೇರ್ ವಿವೇಶ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ದ ಧ್ಯಾನಾಸ್ಪದ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಶಿವ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೈಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಟನ್ ಗೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಐಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಮೈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಪುಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಲೇ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ so pranteshu on the sides it was covered by the branches of nameru tree which were overhanging branches and so it was easier for him to stay hidden and find the perfect opportunity to uh, uh, complete his task now he saw shiva the next few shlokas are a description of uh, uh, parameshwara s devadaru druma vedikayam shardula charma vyavadhanavatyam asinam asanna sharirapatah ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕಂ ಸಂಯಮಿನ ದದರ್ಶ ಸಹ ಮನ್ಮಥ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕಂ ಸಂಯಮಿನ ದದರ್ಶ ಹಿ ಸೋ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕಂ ತ್ರೀಣಿ ಅಂಬಕಾನಿ ಅಂಬಕ ಇಸ್ ನೇತ್ರ ಸೊ ವನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐಸ್ ತಂ ಶಿವಂ ಸಂಯಮಿನ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸಂಯಮಿ and uh, dadarsha tam dadarsha so the rest are all adjectives to it, uh, to him and actually the latter shlokas also are an adjective to shiva kidrsham samyaminam kidrsham triyambakam dadarsha ityatra so the rest follow as an adjective to uh, shiva here deva daru druma vedikayam asinam shardula charma vyavadhanavatyam asinam okay yeah so shardula charma vyavadhanavatyam devadaru druma vedikayam asinam he was sitting on a vedika uh, uh, in the stage like a meda abdin sollu illa so nadri he was sitting on a vedika which is like a stage kind of thing below a tree which is devadaru druma devadaru is a kind of an evergreen tree that you find in the himalayas and tatra druma vedikayam if you uh, uh, see all these uh, old villages where you will find one uh, uh, vedika that has been constructed a stage that has been constructed under a tree usually right where old people or many people will just gather around and sit and uh, gossip around in the villages so this is something very similar to that and it was a stage which was uh, made for parameshwara to sit down and uh, do his meditation so devara devadaru druma vedikayam and it was covered by shardula charma shardula charma vyavadhanavatyam it was covered vyavadhanavati there was a covering uh, made of shardula charma shardula is tiger tiger skin so Uh, he was sitting down on a uh, uh, tiger skin uh, which was uh, uh, on a stage under the tree of devadaru so shardula charma vyavadhanavatyam asinam upavishantam tam asanna sharirapatah saha dadarsha the adjective for manmatha here is one whose shariram is going to fall sharirapatah asanna which is very close by that is he's he's going to uh, fall down and he's going to ha- uh, uh, die uh, very soon not die exactly but his shariram is going to get burnt his atma will be there and then he will be given a new shariram which nobody else can see that parvati will do it during their wedding later so sa devadarudruma vedikayam shardula charma saha atra asanna sharira pataha saha ದೇವದಾರುದ್ರಮ ವೇದಿಕಾಂ ಶಾರ್ದೂಲ ಚರ್ಮ ವ್ಯವಧಾನವತ್ಯಾಸೀನ ಸಂಯಮಿನ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕ ದದರ್ಶ ಹಿ ಸಾ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕ ಶಿವ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಮದನ ಭಗವದ್ದರ್ಶನ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಆಹ ಸಹ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕ ದದರ್ಶ ಸಹ ಕಾಮದೇವ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕ ತ್ರಿನೇತ್ರ ಅಂಬಕ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ನೇತ್ರ ಐಸ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರಿಯಂಬಕ ಇತ್ಯತ್ರ 
yana deshe so usually we have 3 plus ambaka the ikara there should get an uh, yana desha uh, then you will have tryambakam so a lot of people would uh, uh, very clearly pronounce it as tryambakam yajamahe pushtivardhanam iti right so that um okay can you please hold on for a minute so tryambakam is the word that usually uh, will be formed because you have the pratipadikam of three plus ambaka e and a there is a yanadesha sandhi there so you'll have tryambaka instead of that yanadeshe prapte chando bhanga prasange sati chando vichitikaraihi iyam uvam adesha yoho vihitatvad iyam adesha so if there is a problem with the chandas you can uh, there is an adesha called iyang or an uvang adesha that comes in to split it. For, this is a poetical license that has been given uh, by him. Uh, uh, kuda I think it's there in um, Gayatri Mantram also. Uh, you have that uh, uh, license that is there for elongating certain words. La? Talking about Nichirud Gayatri, if you say Varenyam, but if you say Varenyam, Ah. Then it will become Purna Gayatri. Correct. That's the one I was talking about. Ah. So this is for Chandas. Only to accommodate Chandas, this is ex excusable. You know? So Chando Banga Vichitti. Vichitti is uh, uh, that uh, to avoid that Chando Bangam, the break in meter, you can bring in Triyambakam, Iyang Adesha or Uvang Adesha, depending on if it is U, then you can bring in Uva. I don't uh, know any example for Uvang Adesha. Uh, Tirinja, you can tell me later. Uvang, Uvang is usually for Halni Abhyodha. Uh, Halni Abhyodha is that? No, no. No, no. Ide Madri, instead of Va, Vakara, like Madhu Arihi, Madhu Arihi, Madhu Arihi, and the Madri Varano. Puriyarda? Madhu Arihi, Madhu Arihi. Aha. No, no. Madhu plus Arihi, Madhu Varihi Varamadri Varna. Oh, Something oh. like that. Oh, you know. You See, know, that's yeah, what I... is happening here, no? Yeah, you're right. So actually, this is, um, it is actually very commonly uh, seen in the Veda, you, like mm. you said before. Uh, there was a project in Texas uh, a few decades back where they put all the Nichirids, not only Gayatris, into mm. regular okay. using this exact same logic. Iyang uh. uva, like Iya uva abdina. Uh, yeah. yeah, but okay. yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, but I'm not aware of it. In, uh, mm. So they, that's why you have both triambakam and triambakam. Both are fine here. Mm. Uh, triambakam na anyam upasthita sau iti bartrhari prayogat cha na yam dosha. So there is uh, bartrhari has used this in his uh, text in his work. Triambakam nanyam upasthitasa. Upasthitasa. Mm -hmm. I don't know which text this is. I can check it and tell you later. Okay. Dadarsha drishtavan. Atra triambaka shabda prayogena. Tritiya dakshanaha. Krishanuhu kila nishpapata. Iti vakshamanaha arthaha suchitaha. In the, in the same sarga, in the 71st loka, he is going to say that from the third eye, Krishanuhu nishpapata. Agni came out, he fell out from the third eye. This now uh, introducing Shiva at this juncture as Triambaka makes sense when he is going to say that it, in the 71st shloka that Agni came out of his third eye. Right, even that he is keeping it with character instead of saying Parameshwara or Shiva or Kapali or some other word, he uses the word specifically Triambakam to mention the third eye uh, uh, because of the incident that is going to happen. Uh, triambakasya samadhi yogyam avasthana prakaram aha. So, what how was he sitting in that samadhi yoga? Devadaru druma vedikayam asinam. One who was sitting in that Devadaru Druma Vedika. Vedika is Devadaru Drumaha, Devadaru Eva Drumaha, the tree. It is a kind of tree. Vriksha Visheshaha. Tasya Vedika. Shiladi Bihi Badhe Mula Pradeshaha. Ityarthaha. 
So the Mula Pradesh, near the root, there are a lot of shila, stones that have been placed in such a manner that it is like a stage kind of thing at the uh, bottom portion of the tree. So that is a Vedika. Asinam sthitam. Idasaha uh, iti shanach ikara adeshaha. Shanachaha ikara adeshaha. Instead of manaha, you have asinaha here. Astek vardhid. Uh, tasyam samadhi yogyam avasthanam aha. Tasyam vedikayam. Shardula charma vyavadhana vatyam. Shardulaha vyagraha. Tasya charmana. Uh, vyavadhana vatyam achadana sahitayam. Achadanam is a covering. Like a porva portrolia. It's like a, a sheet that is made of tiger skin. So, chardula charmana vyavadhana vati vedika. It's an adjective to the vedika. The vedika which has a vyavadhanam uh, covering made of chardula charma. Okay. So, chardula, chardula charma. Astrutayam Athava Avritayam it is Havitapya. Valinatina Vyagra Charma Striti Tritayam Astritayam Nurkadam. Tri tri Astri Astritayam. Astritayam. Ah yes. In my older edition it has that. See, newer uh, editions should be error free now. It has more errors here. Hmm. Shardula Charma Astritayam Ityartha Atha Kavihi Tadrisha Astrita means uh, uh, spread. Yeah. spread. Hmm. Atha Kavihi Tadrisha Parameshwara Abhibhava Udyuktam Madanam Sopahasam Vishinashti. So now that asana, asana sharira pataha is actually a, an adjective that the kavi gives for manmatha because he is uh, uh, ridiculing the prospect, you know, the uh, uh, adventure that manmatha has started upon. So it's like tadrisha parameshwara abhibhava udyuktam, one who has... Uh, who is ready to abhibhava, one who is ready to conquer parameshwara, who is sitting on a tiger skin underneath Devadaru and he is also a Samyami who has control of all his senses, who has three eyes, this fellow is definitely going to fall down. So, asana sharira pataha. Iti sopaha asam vishinashti. He gives that adjective for him. Asana ha samipavarti sharira pataha. Sharirasya pataha nashaha. Yesya. Aho madanasya Anatma Veditvam. Manmatha does not even understand himself. So he doesn't realize what it is. Anatma Vedi. Uh, one who does not understand the reality here. So Asana Sharira Patatva Upapadakam. Why does he uh, think that uh, Manmatha is going to fall? Definitely. Because Parameshwara is a Samyami. Samyamaha tu Indriya Nigraha. So a person who has a control over all of his sense organs is not going to be swayed by Manmatha here. And Anavasara Upasthanat Asya Sharira Nashaha. Anavasara, it is not the right opportunity. Uh, see, um, I think um, Brahma in the second Sarga, he says you wait for the proper time and then uh, uh, they both will automatically fall for each other and things will happen. Right? But Indra was uh, too impatient and he sent Manmatha at the wrong time here. If the spring season had waited, they had waited for the spring season to naturally come, probably this whole episode of burning of Manmatha would never have happened. So this is a wrong opportunity here. So Anavastara Upasthana, because Manmatha had come there at the um, inopportune moment. That is why Sharira Nashaha, Tasya, Sharira Sya Nashaha Abhut. Avasthara upasthane na anugraha punaha. If he had come at the right time, he would have gotten an anugraha, which is said in the seventh sarga at the end of the marriage. Tasya anumene bhagavan dimanyuhu vyaparam atmani api sayakanam. At that point, when 
Shiva was going to marry Parvati and he was he had married Parvati there Bhagavan Vimanyuhu without any anger he allowed Manmatha to uh, 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 throw his arrows on him Tasya Manmathasya Sayakanam Vyaparam Atmani Anumene Anumene he gave him permission to direct an arrow towards him because he wanted to feel that uh, love towards Parvati. The eighth Sarga will describe the uh, love between Shiva and Parvati here. So uh, at that, if it is the perfect time, then Bhagavan himself will would have given the Anugraham for Manmatha. Whereas this was not the correct time, so he got burnt. The Vyakhanam is uh, very beautiful here. So Devada. Huh? ध्वनि उत्पादक राइट और व्हाट वुड यू लाइक देयर इज नो अलंकारा पर से इट्स नॉट इवन परिकारा राइट यू कांट कॉल इट एज अलंकारा यू मे बी वुड नॉट इवन कॉल इट एज ध्वनि और वुड यू सो द ध्वनि नो देयर इज नो ध्वनि हियर बिकॉज़ uh सो इफ यू हैव टू से दैट इट इज शिवा इज गोइंग टू किल हिम दैट इज अ ध्वनि or burn him which is a dhvani it doesn't exist without the vachyartha so you can call this as a guni bhuta vyanjana so the the vyanjana that you have vyangyartha that you get which is it indicates what is going to happen in the future ah uh. that is not as chamatkaram as the vachyartham here ah uh, ah uh, ha uh, uh. not as beautiful as saying asanna sharira patah samyaminam dadarsha it makes more it's more beautiful here than saying you know because he has a control of senses he is going to burn uh, manmatha later and the poet is that doesn't have hold so much of charm when compared to what is described mm mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. alankara here there's no alankara per se of course you got the uh... the shabda lag like, asinam asannam like that uh, got some word play there going on like prasa uh, going on devadarudruma vedikayam the, the the repetition devadarudruma vedikayam iti that's also that? okay so no guni bhuta vyangya but is the, is, the, is the most we can say about it yes yeah okay got it no this is uh, again it uh, the, the next shloka uh, describe shiva uh so there is no kriya padam in this we will have to connect to saha dadarsha triyambakam samyaminam sanyaminam dadarsha paryanka bandha sthira purvakayam rijvayatam sannamito bhayamsam uttana pani dvaya sanniveshat prabhulla rajivam iva anka madhye uh paryanka bandha sthira purvakayam for this uh, shloka the there is a difference between how prakashika kara and narayana pandita give an explanation with the veras malinatha is completely different so it just because of the word purvakayam i'll go by what this uh, uh, vyakhyata says so he says purvakayam is actually adhakayam that is the uh, uh, bottom portion of his body no kalidasa is describing the scene he is describing maheshwara and his posture how he is sitting paryanka bandha paryanka bandham is padmasana so he is uh, uh, sitting in the padmasana one one foot is on the other uh, uru he has placed one foot on one thigh and the other foot on the other thigh this bandham is called paryanka bandham and paryanka bandhena sthira purvakaya because he has folded both his legs into padmasana his uh, bottom portion of his body is sthiram it is uh, uh, unmoving ruju ayatam his uh, upper part of his body is ruju straight and ayatam it seems at, as if it is longer long ayatam it 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 is long so with the moment you sit straight with your back straight 
it will seem as if your body has elongated so ruju yadi ruju bhavati tarhi it looks as if it is elongated so when you uh, and, the, and the if you curve your spine and sit down then it is uh, uh, in a curved position it doesn't seem so elongated so ruju ayatam cha and then sannamita ubhaya amsam both of his shoulders are sanya sanyamitam sorry sannamitam namitam ityukte it is slightly curved down both of his shoulders are curved down slightly because he holds his palm uh, uh, upwards uttana pani dvaya sanniveshat because he has placed both of his uh, palms uttana uttana facing up, upwards pani dvayam both of his pani his uh, hand sanniveshat because of keeping both his uh, um, uh, hands upwards looking upwards uttana it looks like prafulla rajiva it looks like a full bloom lotus prafulla rajivam anka madhye prafulla rajivam iva dadarsha so it seems as if his uh, 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 hands look like full bloom lotus in the middle of his anka his lap okay tadrsham samyaminam dadarsha triyambakam dadarsha now the problem here is this purvakayam i am not convinced or I'm, i don't know how to give that explanation anyway atha manmatha avasadakaram bhagavata stapa prabhava prabhava dushprekshatvam eva visheshanaihi prapanchayati shadbihi shlokaihi there are six shlokas which give the visheshanas for uh, uh, shiva manmatha avasadakaram bhagavata tapa prabhava dushprekshatvam the difficulty to look at his tapas or to confront his tapas bhagavan's tapas and that tapas becomes an avasada kara avasada is nashakara manmathasya nashasya karana bhutaha bhagavatah tapah prabhavah bhavati tasma dush prekshatvam cha vartate tapasi so it is very difficult to look at it or it's very difficult to face uh, parameshwara's tapas and he gives this uh, the format of how he was sitting in uh, different uh, visheshanas in different uh, uh, adjectives here in the following six shlokas tatra tapasam asana sthairya moolatvat uh, asana sthairya moolatvat aadau asana prakaram ah so tapasam asana sthairya moolatvat for any tapas asana sthairyam to sit properly is the first step adave ukkar mudiyadu you know you can't sit down nischalatvena tatra asanam eva dushkaram bhavati iti karanat pradhamam asanasya sthairyam varnayati atra so adau asana prakaram ah aprandane manas so you have to go from the physical body then go into the manas and then uh, see uh, how that yogi proceeds right everything goes from the sthula then the sukshma shariram and then you go to the karana shariram and the atma swarupam it describes the uh, describes shiva in that uh, progressive fashion here so varyanka bandha sthira purvakayam paryankasya veerasanasya bandhena hmm veerasanam angirad vera illa i think veerasana is different from padmasana i thought so hmm veerasana is usually um just uh, just how we sit no hello vajrasanam eva eva na na vajrasanam eva nasti vajrasanam tu you uh, uh, bend, bend both knees. knees that is vajrasanam veerasanam is our normal sitting, sitting. posture no where the leg the feet is under the thigh not above it above the thigh correct that's how it should be oh, he takes it as veerasanam here hmm పర్యంక బంధ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ వీరాసన ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ కన్ఫ్యూజింగ్ హియర్ ఓకే వీరాసన వీరాసనస్ బంధేన బంధనేన స్థిర నిశ్చల పూర్వకాయ అదహ్ కాయ అని ఎడుతుకరు వెరస్ ఇఫ్ యు లుక్ ఎట్ మల్లినాథ 
he takes it as purvakaya uttara portion because the legs are bound the uh, top portion is naturally uh, straight or uh, sthiram that's what mallinatha takes it as whereas here both of these vyakhyata purvakaya adahkaya iti so purvaha is the four portion and then uttaraha will be the uh, 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 the back portion or it should be the top portion it should be torso and uh, abdomen ah adah kaya hana enna solrel torso va abdomen abdomen ah oh and the hip portion matra solrel mm. okay because in the kal anga madakinathnal just right. the waist uh, section alone including the abdomen is thira okay mm. ah that makes more sense okay so kayasya adho bhaga the Uh, uh, bottom portion of the body which i would take as the uh, middle portion abbi eduthu nru veerasana bandhanena nischala sharira purvardhaha yatha ah vasishtaha ekam padam atha ekasmin ooruni vinyasya samsthitam see the way he describes it one padam is placed on top of one ooru itarasmin tatha cha urum anadar uru veerasanam udahar ha that is padmasan ah adu padmasanam thane idu poi veerasanam ngra enak yeah padmasanam is not just the leg right it's also your spine and your hand ah hand vande indha madri irukano illaya utta so it is not be like that maybe veerasanam has a different mudra inge vande uttana paani dwayam ngrare he says they both are uh ah, second half of the shloka has that okay got it hmm so tam dadarsha iti purvena anvaya you do the anvayam with the earlier uh, uh, shloka urdhvakaya avasthana prakaram now he goes on to the top portion of the body which is ruju and ayatanam ruju meaning avakram atayeva ayatam dirgham cha avakra ayata urdhvakaya so the top uh, uh, torso of, of his body is both straight it is not crooked and so it looks elongated dirgham panidvaya avasthapana prakaram both his hands how are they uttana panidvaya sanniveshat anka madhye prafulla rajivam iva uttanasya urdhva mukasya so the palm is facing up சன்னிவேஷாத் அவஸ்தாபனாத் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் பிளேசிங் போத் பாம்ஸ் ஃபேசிங் அப்வர்ட்ஸ் அங்கசிய மத்தியே இன் த மிடில் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் லேப் இட் சீம்ஸ் லைக் அ பிரபுல்ல ராஜீவம் இவ இட் லுக்ஸ் லைக் அ விகசிதம் பங்கஜம் இவ போத் த ஹேண்ட்ஸ் உத்தானயோஹோ கரதலயோஹோ அங்க மத்திய அவஸ்தாபிதத்வாத் அங்க மத்தியே prarudha aravindam iva drishyamanam it seems like a, um, a a lotus has bloomed in the middle of his lap the two uh, uh, hands look like that yeah so with the virasanam is different in padmasanam madam i sent four posted a picture aha id romba different a irke so this is actually one leg over the uru and one bill below ah Oh. This is the this is the Dhyana Virasana apparently. I have to check actually. Okay, but this this could be the Paryanka Bandham, which is the Virasana. Apni vana, I think yes. But the Mudra vande, our male I pretty much in recur. Padmasana makes more sense. The Virasana, I'm not going to confuse you. I'm not going to know. What does Malinatha say? But if you look at this Virasana. Uh, if you look at ramana maharshi's uh, natural sitting posture uh, like this abrudha okantavar correct hmm. he would sit like that i know even mallinatha says virasana hmm the virasana and vajrasana have a very unique feature in that the fundamental thing is not just a pose but the blood flow for the bottom of the body is uh, restricted so all the energy goes to your brain and you are in a hyper uh, aware Oh. that is the vajrasana thing so for oh. example why vinayaka was in vajrasana for writing mahabharata hmm that is a, it is supposed to be a posture where you can actually your brain is in your intellect is fully energized 
So, wow. Hmm. Okay. So this makes more sense on the Vajrasanam that you sent. Sorry, Virasanam. Yeah. Chari. Okay. So, Atra Panidvayasya Anke Sannivayashat Eva Amsayoho Sannamitatvam Api Sambhavati. Because the hands are uh, in the lap, that's why if, if they were... On the side, let's say, mm-hmm. you know, some mudra on the sides mm-hmm. of the knees, it will be more raised. The shoulders would be more right. raised. Whereas if the hands are in the middle of the ankam, in the middle of your lap, then it is namitatva. Sannamita oh, wow. amsa. Ah. And the observation, how Kalidasa must have been. So, namita that. is nothing. Is ah. namita not necessarily damp? No. No, no. Illa. No. What does Namitam. it mean? Namanam Merkilia Namaskaram. So uh-huh. Namati Adler in the Vandrika. So Namita it would be uh, Nata is one who does the Namaskaram. So Namita is you are making it flexible. You are making it bow down, oh. flex down. Namdatu with uh, Nich. Nich. Namayati. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, sannamitatvam sambhavati natasya shastriyatvam. So, there is no shastram there for you to put your shoulders down when you sit in that virasana. So, it's more to do with that uh, hands and because of which his uh, 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 shoulders seem a little uh, down. Panidvayasya anka avasthapanam tu yogasara vachana siddham. Uttanite karatale karam uttanitam param adhaya anka gatam krutva dhyayet ityadi. So uttanite karatale. Karatalam is the hand portion should also be facing up. If, if your entire hand is not facing up like this, it can't, uh, your, your hands cannot face up, right? So uttanitam param. So the hand along with you'll have to turn your palm also and the hand and make it uh, face upwards. Adhaya, you take those two hands and place it ankagatam kritva. You place it in your lap and dhyanam kuryat. Matra, what is that yoga sara vachanam? Yoga saram mangradu ur text. Yoga sarasya vachanat siddham. Oh. Yoga sara no ur text. Okay, okay. Hala? Avare kedo ur text and the madri irku. Yogasara, PDF, Ama. Yogasara Upanishad. Da. Huh? I didn't know that there was one. Yogasara Sangraha or uh, Vijnana Bhikshu. So, Yogasara is an Upanishad. There is an Upanishad. Uh, Shivananda online lurk. The explanation. <laughs> nice. Okay. Should see what that text is. Paryanka bandhas thira purva kayam. Ruju ayatam sannamito bhayam sam. Uttana pani dvaya sannivesha. Prabhulla rajivam iva anka madhye. Bhujangam. Bhujangama unnadha jata kalapam. Karnavasakta dvigunaksha sutram. Kantha prabha abhyanga vishesha nilam. Mrigatvacham granthimatim dadhanam. So first the posture. And then what are his ornaments that he is wearing? Next is a closer look. I think it can also be like how Manmatha, as he approaches and uh, sits there, he slowly views and gets into that, uh, uh, into Shiva's, uh, uh, you know, how, how he looks like. Admala Velila, first, the first thing that attracts him is his posture. The next is he slowly discerns the uh, uh, angas, whatever he has on his body. Bhujangama unnadha jata kalapam. His jata kalapam, uh, uh, his matted hair is unnadha. It has been tied up using a bhujanga, using a serpent, mm-hmm. snake. Karna avasakta dviguna akshasutram. Akshasutram is his uh, uh, mala. Uh, 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 the japamala. The japamala has been placed on his ear it is hanging from his ear karna avasakta akshasutram and it has been tied twice dvigunam otherwise it will be too long so he has just made two rounds of his japamala around his ear so if you are not doing japam 
and if you are just meditating then you'll have to place the akshamala somewhere and he places it on his ear here so karna avasakta dviguna akshasutram kantha prabha abhyanga vishesha neelam mrigatvacham granthimatim dadhanam dadhanam he is wearing mrigatvacham the uh, uh, skin of a deer which is granthimati which which has a knot at the uh, waist so he has to tie it, uh, tie the uh, deer skin with a knot right at his uh, uh, like a dhoti so granthimati with a knot and it is also made it has a slight blue uh, uh, shade vishesha neelam because of the kantha prabha kantha prabha abhyanga by being uh, I, i would say abhyanga or abhyasanga kantha prabha sanga is another word here uh, sanga is mishranam or when you say abhyanga i think the anointing artham abhyanga na vyapti okay abhyangena vyaptya because the kantha prabha the uh, uh, dark uh, um, blue color from the visham that is there in his kantham in his uh, throat that prabha the kanti of his throat abhyanga has completely covered and given it a vishesha neelam it's given it a nice uh, special blue hue a blue shade to that uh, uh, deer skin mrigatvacham and he is wearing that uh, uh, on his waist yeah. so dhyana udyoga dyotakam alankara vishesham this alankara is also in keeping with the dhyanam and idu vandu contrast enga paakanum na kalyanathula paakanum abbe vandu he will touch all his bhujanga and it will turn into golden ornaments and he will become like a king there so dhyana udyoga udyogasya yuktam alankaram yad vidyate tadeva saha dharati iti varnayati atra so this is something that is appropriate for dhyana so bhujangama uddhata jata kalapam bhujangama sarpah sarpena unnadha urdham nadhah nadhu ingaradhu vandu badhnati madri varum nadhnati nanekare nadhah iti tying Hello? what's the dhatu nah nah dhatu nah dane nah bandhane nadha oh nahyati sorry not uh, badnati nahyati nu varu yeah okay unnadha urdhvam nadha jata kalapah jata samuha the matted hair has been tied up on his head ಯೋಗಮಾತ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ಜಪ ವಿರಾಮತ್ ಅಕ್ಷಮಾಲ ಅರ್ಪಣ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಯೋಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ನೌ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಯೋಗ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಧಾರಣಾ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಜಪ ವಿರಾಮತ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಜಪಂ ಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೌ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ಷಮಾಲ ಹಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕರ್ಣೆ ಅವಸಕ್ತ Uh, that which has been placed on his uh, right ear avasaktam sthitam dvau gunau gunau means uh, uh, gunitam adavad two uh, uh, twice it has been placed twice rendu darava maatikirudu illana it will be too long right so aksha sutrasya karne nidhanam karnasya pavitrata smritehe because karnam is supposed to be a very purifying thing la even when you notice a lot of uh, people when they are saying veda or anything if they yawn and madri illa even normally also the kada tutpa because ka- ka- karnam is supposed to have ganga there and that's why they keep touching if the it's uh, if you have noticed that action a lot of people would do that and kaalath mancha konjo innamo pannu aga dvigunatvam chaanchalya pariharartham ಚಾಂಚಲ್ಯಂ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಲೋಲಂ ಭವತಿ ತತ್ರ ಇತಿ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ದ್ವಿಗುಣ ಕೃತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮೂವ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಿವ ಕಟಿ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಯೋಗ ಅನುಗುಣ ಸ್ಥಿರತ್ವ ಆಪಾದನ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಟು ಟು ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಟೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಲೂಸನಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅ ಗ್ರಂಥಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ at the waist so granthi matim 
मृगत्वचं दधानं ग्रंथि ग्रथनं नॉट सो ग्रंथिमति ग्रंथनम असे अस्ति इति ग्रंथिमति तादृशी मृगत्वचं मृगस्य त्वचं दधानं परिदधानं ही इज वेयरिंग दैट सो निबिड ग्रथितं निबिड इत्युक्ते दृढं दृढबंधनं कृतं मृगचर्म वसानं ही इज वेयरिंग इट एज अ वस्त्रं निबिड ग्रथनं मध्ये स्रंस परिहारार्थं व्हाई हैज ही टाइड इट hopefully it doesn't lose in as he is doing his yoga so he has tied it really well so it doesn't again get distracted because of all these external uh, things so bhagavat paridana bhutaya ha mrigatvacha ha shobha adhikyam aha idella also i am i'm probably going a little faster with all these things in the visham mangarchela in other sulvar साधारण इट इज नॉट अ मृगत्वचम दट ही इज जस्ट सिंपली वेरिंग इट इट इज ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्टिंग द कंठ विषम बिकॉज टू एज अ रिमाइंडर फॉर मन्मथ टू शो द ईश्वर प्रभाव देर सी दट विषम वेन एव्रीबडी वॉज रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम समुद्र मथनम शिवा केम देर एंड टू कॉल दट विषम एनिथिंग दट इज bad in this world any bad intention ही विल जस्ट स्वॉलो इट एंड प्लेस इट इन साइड हिम सेल्फ ही इज अ पर्सन हू इज who who takes on something which nobody will dare to do and the person ku munadi var vande poi assault a nikrane var you are there that kantha prabha abhyanga vishesha neelam kanthasya prabhayah abhyangena vyaptya it's completely covering that mrigatvacham gala galitaya bahala taraya garala prabhaya garala prabha garalam tu kantham कंठे या प्रभा विद्यते कांति सा तो कंठे न तिष्ठति गलित सो इट स्लोली स्प्रेड इट्स कांति एव्रीवेर बिकॉज इट इज सो थिक एंड इट इज सो शाइनिंग सो दट कांति स्प्रेड एंड इट कवर्स द मृगत्वच सो श्याम विशेषत अमला मृगत्वच स्वत नील विशेष नीलोक्ति मृगत्वच स्वत नीलम ओ हि इज प्राबब्ली वेरिंग गज चर्म अपो देन इट कैन बी नीलम एंड इट इज गॉट दट शेड ऑफ विष विषस्य नीलम अत्र वर्त है अभ्यंगेन इज ईक्वल टू व्याप्तिया मीनिंग अभ्यंग स्नान पड़ोल अभ्यंग स्नान विशेषत नीलवर्ण प्राप्ति वर्त है भयपड़ी भुजंगम उन्नध जटाकलापम कर्णावसक्त द्विगुणाक्ष सूत्र कंठ प्रभाभ्यंग Uh, Ilena, it's easier in uh, Malinatha's uh, reading where he takes it as Kantha Prabha Sangha Vishesha Nila Mrigatvacham Granthi Matim Dadhana Sangha Vavida Abhyanga Inno Nanna Arukon Thunit Bhujangge Bhujangge Na Nakhyati Diva Bhujangga Ma Ha Yes Correct Me Nakhyati He ties the snake He ties the knot with the snake Okay रबर 
பயங்கரமா இருக்கணும் இல்ல அவரு டிஸ்கிரைப் பண்றச்சு யோக கழுத்துல விஷம் இவர் வந்து எல்லாரும் ஓடி போறச்ச இவர் வந்து இது போட்டுண்டார் இடுப்புல வேற அடிச்சு தானே அடிச்சு போட்டுண்டாரா இல்ல இருக்கிற இத எடுத்து போட்டுண்டாரா ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் ஷுட் இவோக் சம் ஃபியர் இன் தட் ஃபெலோ அடுத்தது இன்னும் சொல்லுவார் அந்த அந்த அந்தர் நிவாத நிஷ்கம்பம் அந்த ஒரு ஸ்லோகம் வரும் உள்ளுக்குள்ள அப்படியே ஒரு ஒரு சஞ்சலமும் இல்லாத அந்த யோக நிலையில இருக்கும் பொழுது எப்படி இருக்கானோ அப்படி இருக்காரு சிவன் அதான் கர்ணே கர்ணயோகோ அவசக்தம் திகுணீகிருதம் அக்ஷசூத்திரம் கர்ணே கர்ணே ஏவ நூ கர்ணயோகோ இன் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் இயர் ஒன் ஹிஸ் ரைட் இயர் சோ கர்ணே அவசக்தம் திகுணம் அக்ஷசூத்திரம் ரொம்ப நீளமா இருந்தா டபுளா சுத்திக்கிறது இல்ல ரப்பர் பேண்டல் அந்த மாதிரி I mean, everywhere there's a sense of control, like um, uh-huh. he's tied everything up, his hair is tied up, his clothes are really clear. Some yummy, some yummy, right? Uh, that's right. Some yummy, you can say anything about it, but it's not an objective. In control, like everything is tightly held together. His yeah. senses, his uh, everything. Everything is held together, but that also is how for a moment he was, uh, you know, there is a chanchalatvam when he sees Uma. அப்போ அந்த கான்ட்ராஸ்ட் அங்க பியூட்டிஃபுல்லா இருக்கும். மன்மதன் வந்து அப்படி அந்த அம்ப எடுக்கிறச்சு. ம். ஓகே.